concussion education should be a mandatory piece of at-risk sports. My dream growing up was, was to play in the NHL. I grew up in a hockey household. Um, my father played in the NHL for 15 years and, and while I was playing at, uh, at St. Thomas University in New Brunswick, I suffered a number of concussions over a three month period of time that forced me to stop playing. But since then, I've tried to use that experience to help others. And as I started medical school as well, I've tried to you know, make that a part of what I can give back to the community is my experience and how can we make sure that what happened to me doesn't happen to other people. So there's five of us that started this group and we've become almost like family over the last year and a half, two years. We were lucky enough to be part of this, uh, the new medical curriculum here, which has dedicated blocks for an independent project. And fortunately for us, we decided that we wanted to do something around concussion and sport early. We decided that we wanted to make a group dedicated to educating athletes on concussions. We came up with the, with the name Concussion U, um, so we reached out to every midget AAA and Bantam AAA team in the St. John's area and actually presented to them um, early in their season. And our goal was simply to you know, educate them about what a concussion is, how they can happen, what to look for in terms of signs and symptoms, and how to recover appropriately. Players feel guilty not going back, and that is the hardest part about sitting out with a concussion is you know, you think you can be out there playing, but you can't. The thing about recovery is it's different for everybody. You'll hear a lot of times that the athlete's out for about a week because they had a concussion, and that's because that's the usual time frame for recovery. The key is, is that recovering properly can prevent some of those long-term um, complications from happening. So if you, if you try to go back too early and you get hit again, well then you are at risk for a longer recovery than if you would have sat out the appropriate amount of time at first. But for us, the most important thing is to get kids to realize if they do have an injury, that they have to recover properly. You're going to be a person a lot longer than you're going to be a pro hockey player or a pro football player or any of those sorts of things. There comes a point in time when you have to look at what your future is going to be like if you're sustaining head injuries.